All right, well, last time we were here, we built this part of the solution, and that is we took in three names. We started with the header. That's what happens if the counter is one. We created the header that allowed us to create boys' names, colon, one, period, space, space, Tom. And then when it went around a loop again, since now the counter was two, instead of entering boys' name again, it says, well, take what's already in boys' names, which is boy count, boy accum, and then add the next number in the counter, a dot, two spaces, and then the next name. So since we have gotten the boys all done, now it's time to go ahead and do the girl side. And uh, again, we want to make sure we test and go as um, as we develop. Now I'm not going to go ahead and redo the whole thing over here step by step because all I have to do is uh, click up here above boy counter and to the left of the boy accum hold down my left mouse button and then drag a box around these four and then I copy this by right mouse clicking and copying and then go to the other side and simply paste it in and every place it says boy I change it to girl so I'll just change this to girl I will copy the word girl and then paste girl in everywhere I need to so it's not the boy counter anymore now it's the girl counter it is not the boy accum it is the girl accum and it's not boys names it is girls names with a capital G and we're going to use the boy counter Okay, the rest doesn't matter because it's still a child name. And on this side, again, boy to girl, and boy to girl, and boy to girl. Okay, and then down on the bottom, we're just going to change that to girl acum. Okay, now I'm going to test this twice to see if it works. Okay, so the first time I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it using all the girls' names here in that order. Okay, so uh, the girl's name is Susie. And she is a girl. So there's girl's name Susie. I have another name, Yes. And the girl's name is Cindy. And she is a girl. And there is the girl's name is one Susie, two Cindy, and the last one was called Pat. So the last one is yes. The girl's name is Pat, and she is a girl. And there it is. So um, you can see it works perfectly. And the only thing we have to test next is let's say, well, how do we know if it works with random names. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and test it with uh, random names. So I'm going to run it again. This time I'm going to say, what is the child's name? And let's start with uh, Susie. And Susie's a girl. And there's the start of the girl's names. I have another name. I say yes. This name is Tom and he is a boy and there's the boy name start and so I'll have another name and this num is Bill and Bill's a boy and there's that do you have another name? I'll say yes we'll do one more child's name is Cindy and she is a girl And you can see there. So I can keep on going for two more names, but we can see that um, right now I have two accumulators, and um, they're accumulating the names on both sides. So effectively, we have this solved uh, for the flowchart. So <coughs> the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and code. 
because I'm not going to bother putting my output outside the loop because this is my test stage. I always use flow charting to test. It tests true. So now I'm just going to go ahead and code this um, and see if it works within the code. And I'm going to code it with the um, outputs inside the loop. Now I wouldn't, wouldn't do that in production, but I want to see what's happening every time it goes around and make sure that it's accumulating correctly. Once we have coded it just like this and it works, the next step is to then put some document rights on there and see if we can make uh, the list come out looking just like this. Okay, so signing off.